run. And as in years past, Pete Carr Pro Rodeo provided the horses and bulls for the rough stock competition. I talked with Pete Carr during our rodeo this year for a special report on what happens backstage. I started in high school when I rode. I don't know, 20 years. Pete Carr is a former bareback rider. It's something once you once you get into it, it's kind of hard to get out of it. Uh, you know, I used to flank everything before Billy started flanking. And he still likes to stay behind the rough stock shoots during the rodeo. You know, I'm helping him set flanks and stuff like that. It's our bail man this weekend. Probably hot. He loves being right in the middle of the action, always watching, looking for ways to improve the rides. And we're conversing about the stock after it bucks. You know, hey... We probably should put a halter on that horse, or hey, maybe we move that horse to the left, or maybe we'll try that horse in the bronc riding. Or so I'm making notes on my sheets the whole time. Getting ready is a carefully orchestrated routine that starts hours before the performance. Three o'clock every day, over there in the in the pens, we sort them. So we'll take the night, all the animals that are out in this performance, we sort them out, load them up. Separate. The night's animal athletes are loaded onto stock trucks from fairground holding pens for the short drive over to the Coliseum. You know, they kind of perk up when they get on the truck and their ears kind of throw back and they know they're going to work and they get a little excited. Depending on what the horses or bulls prefer, they're put in left or right opening shoots. Their performances account for half of the Cowboys' score. So, rodeo starts at 7.30. Um, 7 20, we'll start loading the barebacks down both sides. So tonight we've got... Um, We've got Pickett, we got Butler, Animals. The lineup sometimes includes horses and bulls from other breeders because of the large number of contestants in San Angelo's rodeo. This rodeo is so large, it takes, I mean, we bring 10 to 12 guys in here to help us for, all the way from Canada to Texas. Coordinating and having, you know, having the relationships with the people and, for, you know, those guys committing and coming to help put this on and being a part of it. So it takes a whole, whole, whole lot of people to make this happen. And tomorrow night, we'll hear more about Carr's horse and bull breeding program at his East Texas ranch.